don't trust people that be talking about I don't judge. Those be the main ones that's judging. I be talking about to a lot of people about like how I'm a Christian, Jehovah Witness. A lot of people don't know that Jehovah Witnesses are Christians, so it's education moment. Um, and the first thing these non people, these judge non judgmental people, say is, oh, I can't do Christianity because. Um, those people that be in a church that be claiming to be Christians be the work they be way worse than normal people. Okay, so are you there for them or are you there for yourself? Like, how you think the conversation with God gonna go? Like, oh, um, so yeah, you didn't join the church or you didn't start serving me because other people was messed up in the church. Okay, he is not gonna ask you about what everybody else is doing, but he sure gonna ask you what you was doing, okay? Don't be the way you want. So when I say I'm Jehovah's Witness, the judgment like blinks, goes on. But those are also the main ones who say that they don't like being judged. You all, there is no way that you are letting human imperfection stop you from eternal salvation. You mean to tell me all because other people aren't living their life right or they're not taking the word seriously that you're supposed to just be like, well, yeah, they're not doing anything right, or they're terrible out here in church. So, um, I'm just not going to take it seriously. So, your solution is to, to avoid people who are horrible in church, to not go to church, and still deal with people that's horrible outside of church. Like, what? Like, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Like, you're not there for them. You are there for you. A lot of times I hear people talking about how how church people are judgmental and they wrong and they be doing this and being mean and stuff. So what? You are not there for them. It's to me it's just an excuse. It's an excuse. Oh, well, I can't do whatever I want to, or God requires things, other things that I'm not really to let go to serve him. That's the real reason. Because you ain't letting other people stop you from doing what you want to do in life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there are a lot of people that claim to be grown, but still acting childish. They didn't stop you from growing up. They ain't stopping you from elevating and growing up yourself. There are a lot of people who go to the gym every day. Every day, faithfully. You're going to the gym for years. Ain't changed a bit. But they don't stop you from going. There's a lot of people that go to college. Never graduate. They ain't stop you from going. But when it comes to your salvation, your soul, <laughs> the sovereign of the universe, you like, eh, you know, I don't want to do that because those people in there, they they crazy. They mean, they ha hating their heart. So I'm just going to just wing it and hope that God just like knows my heart. It's not up for him our salvation is not up for him just knowing our heart. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's that, that's not enough. We put so much work and effort and things in life, in this life. But when it comes to your afterlife, it's just like, oh, well, he knows my heart. Like, what? You put more effort into the outfits you're going to wear at the club to go out and commit the sin than you do on actually fixing the sin, the person that's going to help you fix it. Like, and make that make sense. Like, I'd rather respect somebody to say, hey, I'm just not in this space to serve God. I'm not I'm not wanting to. Like, I still want to be out here doing what I want to do. I, re I respect that person than for you to be having all these type of excuses or, like, blaming people for your reason to not serve God. And then it's like y'all also think that God wants perfection, like, immediately. Till the day that we die, we are going to be fighting against the imperfect inclinations of human nature because we are human and we are imperfect. There is no such thing as a super Christian. There is no such thing as somebody walking around and being a complete saint. That is false Christianity. That right there is false Christianity. That whole saint word, that whole, there's no such thing. Cause we, you cannot be a saint and be born into sin. And because we are born to sin, we are not without sin. We are not. There are some people that sin more, and there are people that sin less. But every day, 
we are sinning against God even without even trying because we are born into sin. It's almost like having a cake and the cake is being baked in a pan that got a dent in it. No matter what you put in that pan, that pan has a dent in it. That's how born into sin means. So every day, no matter what day you decide to be a Christian, no matter what day you decide to walk with, with God, we are going to be constantly fighting against our natural imperfections as human beings. So I think a lot of times people just get confused with what God requires of us. He doesn't want perfection. He does want people that are aware of their spiritual needs. You have to be aware of your spiritual needs. And nowadays, you got so many people out here that are neglecting their spiritual needs. So now they need certain things to fill the void. They need all these cars and lavish things like, oh, more children, more of this, more, more husbands, more wives, more of this. And it's not fixing it. It's giving you temporary satisfaction. But then you're miserable. You're miserable because we are just spirits in the human sector right now this is not the real life we are just experiencing being humans right now and if you are not aware of your spiritual needs you are neglecting your spiritual needs because of what other people around you are doing in church that's insane that that's insane you mean to tell me that people got so much such a hold on you that you decided hey you know what i'm just not gonna i'm not even gonna try to serve god and this is not for the people that if, if you are cool with serving crystals and rocks and the universe that's what they all say and you don't want to serve god then this, this video is for you but this video is for the people like myself who struggle with other people's opinion about what other people are doing and i'm here to tell you right now that you have got to just keep living your life. Keep trying to serve God. Keep on the good fight, no matter what people say. And if you find yourself struggling, that's normal. The difference between a person that's struggling to serve God and a person that's struggling just period, is that person is aware of their spirituality. And the person without is out here fighting demons without God. Without God. And see, the funny thing about Satan is he'll let you think you're winning for a little while, for a couple years. It'll be 10, 15 years before that same demon shows his face again. And you think you thought you got over it. But now Satan just tricked you. He just tricked you. And now you're back in the same space that you thought you grew out of because you were not. You never grew out of it. You never grew out of it. You were using, you were fighting your battles without God. You're fighting your battles without him. And um, I just need everybody to just respect the fact that I chose to be a Christian. I'm not a perfect Christian. I be in here cursing, acting a fool and stuff. I, but one thing about me is I'm aware of what I need to change. A lot of y'all just want to stay the same and just then, then turn around and say, oh, well, God, God, be God knows my heart. Okay. Yeah. But he also know you're not trying either. And imagine having to explain to God that at your judgment day, because he ain't going to ask you what Raven was doing. He will ask you what you did to try to change. Explain that to him. Okay? That, this video is for y'all, though. For my girls. It ain't for them. Keep scrolling. And I don't care how you feel. Okay? Okay? Bye-bye.